Alrighty guys, I'm pretty pleased with how tidy my bathroom countertop is now. I organized it. So here's the new hair organizing caddy I got. You can see it holds my new hair dryer. I've really been liking this actually. I use it about once a week. I, I blow dry my hair and then the rest of the days I just air dry my hair. Here's the round brush I got. I've been happy with this so far. I got it on Amazon. And then the regular brush, I've also been happy with that. And it perfectly holds my claw clamps, the biggie ones, and then these. And here's the drawer. I have some hair elastics there. I'll have to corral more because I know there are probably some floating around my apartment. These came with the um, round brush there to uh, clip up your hair when you're drying it. So I'm gonna store those in there. That's another piece to the hair dryer. I'll just leave it parked there. And then hidden underneath here is a rarely ever used uh, Celestial Seasonings has these tins around the holidays with their holiday teas and I love sugar cookies so they ride, you guys know. Anyways, uh, in here I have bobby pins, which I rarely, rarely, rarely ever use, but when I want to use them, I want to use them. <laughs> and I don't want to have to go hunting around for them. So I've kept them all in here and then these pretty barrettes I rarely ever use because they kind of get stuck in my hair. But they came in a FabFit fun box, I want to say. Anyways. So I thought I could just keep those hidden under there because I like rarely ever use them, but I know where they are. And then this is a Bath and Body Works candle jar that I cleaned out. Uh, it has a variety of combs. This one is what I got to part my hair with. And then this comb came with a PR package from Drunk Elephant a while ago. And then you guys know I love these. I know I have another one floating around. I think actually it's in my purse. There are my glasses parked there because I wear those at night. And then this is the skincare that I am currently using daily, pretty much most of these products. I enjoy doing these skin Iceland patches. These are mostly for relaxing, but they're really good to just hydrate up underneath the eyes. And then I love the Inky List cleansing balm. It's what I use to take off my mascara and water resistant sunscreen. Uh, in the morning, I've been washing my face, as you guys have seen, with this Peach Slices Salicylic Acid Cleanser. I'm almost finished with it, but I also have in my backup stash the Cetaphil Salicylic Acid Cleanser, so I'll finish that once this is done. Um, this is the Aven Tolerance Control Soothing Skin Recovery Balm. I really like using this around my eyes. I mean, it's a moisturizer you can use all over the face my CeraVe healing ointment that I use to my lips and my eyelids. This Cetaphil Mattifying Acne Moisturizer. It has become a 2021 skincare favorite. So you will see it in my 2021 skincare favorites video that I do at the end of the year. I really, really like this one. The formula is really nice and thick, but at the same time, it's not heavy or greasy. It's a great way if you have very dry, sensitive skin to introduce salicylic acid into your routine. I've 
been loving this Avan Intense Protect sunscreen. This is the uh, chemical sunscreen that a viewer sent me. You can't buy it here in the States, but it's got the new filter Triazorb in it. I've really been liking this. It does leave the skin a little bit shiny, but I'm cool with that. This is the Biofine a viewer sent me. It's like a French pharmacy, highly coveted product. I have just kind of been mm, not that impressed with this actually. It hasn't, it ha does have fragrance. The fragrance is kind of that clean citrus scent. This product has been shown to help with healing uh, a variety of wounds. I don't know, I prefer sticking to Vaseline. So thank you for sending it to me. I'll finish it. I've been using it like on my body as a moisturizer, but I don't know. I wouldn't go all the way to Europe to collect this. This is another sunscreen you guys see me use a lot, the Skin Aqua UV Super Moisture Milk. Love this. It's a chemical sunscreen from Japan. So I've been wearing this a lot. And then I've got the Lancome Mascara. Started using this again in my skincare routine along with tretinoin, this PCA pigment gel. I love this product. It really helped to fade a lot of hyperpigmentation that I had left over um, when used in conjunction with retinoin. And it's got kojic acid, azelaic acid, lactic acid. I use it twice a day actually. I use it for as a first step after cleansing to damp skin. And then I put either moisturizer or sunscreen on over it. And then after moisturizer has absorbed, then I put tretinoin on. Speaking of moisturizer, <laughs> look at this. Tatcha sent this to me. It's their Indigo Overnight Repair. I think it's a sleep mask or night mask or I don't know, something like that. It's actually fragrance free. So I've been trying it out. So far it's okay, but I don't know. I wouldn't go out and plunk down. I'm sure it's really expensive. So it was sent to me. I wouldn't say it's though necessarily any more magical than any other moisturizer. It is pretty, it is a nice thick kind of consistency. So if you have really dry skin or a lot of irritation, you might like this. But the container, my gosh, you could, uh, you could, I don't know, knock somebody out with this. <laughs> and then I've been also using this Neostrata Problem Dry Skin Cream to like my elbows, knees, upper arms. It's good for rough and bumpy skin. It's got alpha hydroxy acids that help exfoliate and soften that built up dry, dry stuff. It's good too for the uh, nails. Uh, Glossier sent me their boy brow, whatever the heck this is. I've been using it. Everybody always talks about how great this is. And in my opinion, I've been using it now for a couple of months actually. In my opinion, this is like just some lotion in a tube. I don't get the hype with this. I keep this on my shower ledge here and the edge here. I do the double cleanse. So I use that inky oat cleansing balm at nighttime to first take off my water resistant sunscreen and mascara. And then when I'm in the shower, I use this to wash it off as a second step. Still using Dove Deep Moisture as my hand wash. Well, hey guys, happy Sunday. We are yet again stuck in traffic. Get excited. We are on our way to the W. And no, I don't mean some fancy hotel. We're going to Walmart. Why? Because I am looking for more of those buckets. Do you remember a few vlogs ago, I got these coral colored plastic buckets. They are amazing. They were like, I can't remember, only a few dollars. And I know Dollar Tree has them. I have been loving them and I'm trying to, I'm going through and doing a bunch of organization in my apartment. And I have these and I need a few more to continue the organization process out. And I'm sipping on a black cherry Zevia. Zevia, Zevia. I just had a matcha green tea. So these are currently on Ibotta. These, some flavors I love, other flavors I don't like so much. So I got this black cherry and it's okay. It's not my favorite, but the creamy root beer is really good. They're sweetened with stevia. So I've been enjoying those. I'm not really so into those seltzer waters like LaCroix and I don't know. I prefer, I don't know. It's it's left over from my diet soda junkie days when I was really into drinking Diet Coke, which I don't know. I feel like Diet Coke gets an unfair, gets an unfair amount of criticism. It is a beautiful day out, you guys. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Marble Slab Creamery. When I was an omnivore, I tried Marble Slab and I did not like it because the ice cream 
was like the grainy. Did I just have an off experience with marble slab? I know their whole thing is like they mix stuff into the ice cream, but the texture of the ice cream was just off to me and it tasted cheap. I don't know, it didn't taste like good quality ice cream. I only, I only tried it like two or three times and then I was like, this is consistently bad. It could have been the location that I was going to way back when. Maybe they have improved it. I cannot wait for this construction to be over. I know I complain about it a lot. It has become socially unacceptable to complain. Have you noticed that? Like a lot of people when they're complaining, they'll like go above and beyond to apologize for complaining. I have no problem with people complaining. Yeah, I mean, some people can be whiny and it's like, okay, we get it, you don't like it or whatever. But I feel as though there is a time and a place for complaining and complaining, it can affect change for the better. It, it's it, People will say you're complaining or being negative when you're actually just pointing out things that need improvement. Yeah, I don't get it. I'm not into we need to be positive 24 seven because that's just not reality. And I feel like when you try and put yourself in a box of continuous positivity, I think it can really mess with your head in a negative way. <laughs> um, whereas if you allow yourself to feel negative emotions and express them, I think that's healthy. I think figuring out ways to allow yourself to experience negative emotions and express them in a healthy way, I think that's good. Um, you can't just be positive all the time. I mean, that's not reality. So yeah, I'm gonna continue to complain about the construction until it's over. <laughs> but it's never over because they'll, they'll repair this part of the street or whatever it is they're doing. I mean, it, this is a huge undertaking they, they're making here. They'll repair it and then I swear, like a mile away, they'll rip up the street there and we'll still be in the same pickle that we were before. I may also go into um, Bath and Body Works just to see what they have there. I like going in Bath and Body Works. Not so much for the Bath and Body, but for the works. <laughs> but I have another Bath and Body Works candle that I bought this summer, and I'm thinking I'm gonna save it for a rainy day quite literally because it smells really good on whiff it's like a berry waffle cone and I have it. it smells really good and then someone I follow on social media was burning it and they're like you need this berry waffle cone candle and I'm like well I already have it so thanks for validating my choices <laughs> of course I have to check out their fall decor Remember I was on the hunt for an autumnal set of placemats? Fabric tablecloth, yeah. Mm. It's not as ominous as that one we saw at Joanne's. Desperately clutching that dog a little bit too tightly. Pioneer woman came out with an embossed canister set. You don't need another vacuum cleaner, but it's tempting. I have this shark and I really like it, the Navigator. These Mainstays candles are actually pretty good. Well, I've had one in my lifetime. <laughs> and it was when I visited San Diego. Remember, I got one of these at a Walmart to have going in the Airbnb. And I really liked it. Salted caramel butterscotch. These bougier packaging ones, and they're frosted. Pumpkin weather, highly fragranced apple pumpkin molasses. Ew, that sounds nice. Now, I've never tried the Better Homes and Gardens, and I think whenever I mention Better Homes and Gardens candles in here, I get kind of mixed feedback from you guys in the comments. Red lava and citrus. Is it for those people who want to smell like a volcano? Unfortunately, I'm not seeing the containers that I came in here for. I'm sure they still have them, but they're probably hiding them somewhere. And I got a cart with like a sticky wheel. It's driving me. I got a cart with a sticky wheel. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> gotten into the wax melts ever and I'm kind of contemplating trying it at some point. These are cute. Dia de los Muertos uh, scented wax cubes. That one's cute. I also like this one.
Marshmallow Krispies, Sugar Rush. Oh my gosh, you guys, Walmart's got their Christmas stuff out. Starting to put their Christmas stuff out. Why not? Let's take a stroll down Ornament Lane here. See what they have. Uh, they have some kind of cute ornaments, actually. If you're into that, like, country vibe, I like it. So, my ballet tree last year was a hit uh, in my bedroom. <laughs> Okay, I know that sounded weird, but I did really enjoy having the ballet tree last year. That's kind of cute. Jazzy pretzel. The first day of fall is right around the corner, although by the time you're watching this, it will already have passed, but my goodness, it seems too early. I'm here in Bath and Body Works, and they have their fall candles out, but how cute is this little rotating mushroom? I love that stand. Oh my god, that's like a little tree house fairy tale. I'm in love with this setup I did this year. Well, hey guys, I just got out of the shower and surprise, surprise, I did not wash my hair. I did use my new shower cap. I used the blow dryer last night. I've been trying to use it once a week. I recently got into using a hair dryer again, just to kind of, I don't know, have some different option in terms of styling my hair. Um, but I don't really like going multiple nights without shampooing my hair because I work out and my scalp gets sweaty. This Neostrata Dry Skin Cream. It's a really nice thick, um, Almost ointment consistency. It's really good for softening the elbows. Alpha hydroxy acids, they do make your skin a little bit more predisposed to getting sunburned, sun damage. To be careful to always wear obviously sunscreen, but you should be doing that anyways. But just realize that in the back of your head. And hydroxy acids are smoothing everything out um, and po almost polishing the top layer of the skin, making everything nice and smooth and even. And now the sun has more of a level playing field to penetrate in. On the flip side, so do your skincare ingredients. That's why using alpha hydroxy acids can help other active ingredients get into the skin better. Things like hydroquinone, for example, um, can ha you can get better results with hydroquinone when it's paired with hydroxy acids. Using an alpha hydroxy acid and a retinoid, even though you shouldn't use them together because the combination is too irritating, but using hydroxy acid in the morning and retinoid at night, it is a really good, well-established pairing for improving the visible signs of photoaging, as well as leading to boosting up of collagen production. Ordinary is lactic acid. And what I like about this product is it's affordable and a very short ingredient list. Not a lot of things in it that can lead to irritation. But what I was gonna say is if you have keratosis pilaris like on the cheeks, this is a good one. Anyways, guys, I got new PJs here from Amazon. They're actually pants, really comfortable. They're like bamboo. If you're somebody who overheats easily in long sleeve and pants type pajamas, try these out. They're very cool on the skin. They keep you cool all night long. I'm really picky when it comes to PJs. <laughs> I had to change the battery. Anyways, guys, I am going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for making it this far. If you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.